that Pyramid Head? No, I don't think so. Just a big motherfucker. Probably. I mean, I'm down to do this, to, to, like, do this again. So I'm, oh, God. Actually, uh, I wouldn't touch that just yet. I wanna we actually... gotta find a place to save. Whoa. Well, after that cutscene, we're back. What the hell is that? And, oh, that's a key. We found a key uh, to room 202. Um, that was odd, actually. Creepy. Someone got pooped on. Aw, oh, goddammit, it's a puzzle. The clock has stopped at 10.31 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed and it is locked. Can't touch the needles of the clock. It's probably gonna be something like pushes out of the way or something. Scarves from the past shall move the nail that stops time. Will you push the clock? Yeah, why the hell not? Oh, because get it something with his wife. No matter how to push it doesn't move. It's like it's stuck to the ground. Yeah, that's probably what the puzzle is. You have to yeah. fucking move the high I hate those kind of puzzles. Like on the one in Resident Evil 4. Then involved like the color thing in the chapel. Mm -hmm. Fuck that one. Yeah, there's like um, Resident Evil. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Silent Hill: Homecoming revolves around the number like 206. So like a lot of the puzzles have to yeah. do with the number 206. I feel like a lot of like a lot of like things have that trope of like numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like numbers being specific. Because I forgot one game. I forgot what it was that involved like numbers or like or um a, de or a certain develop development team like. Their big thing is like the certain this certain number. I forgot what it was. How they're just running past enemies. Well, that's what you get when you play a lot of Resident Evil. Yeah, honestly, it, it really is like when you play Resident Evil, it's either you kill everything with fire or you just run away from it. Yeah, sounds about right. God, these rooms are fucking creepy as hell. Check your status real quick. I want to see like how much save. Can I save inside the sink? No. There's no red photo there, guy. Looks pretty <laughs> red to me. I mean, it is red. Uh, is this... Did you go to 202? This is 202. Oh, this is 202. Right, it was a health drink and... A, a butterfly? Moth. Some kind of creature. Alright. I would say drink something, because I think you're really low in health. Oh, there seems to be something moth-related. Yeah, butterflies. I hear something. Sure, I can tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of this hole. No. No, thank you. The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. God. Well, do let's I really investigate want to the this? hole. Dude. Nothing, nothing good can come out of that. Tickled me. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's so hesitant. Yeah, like, uh, no, of course not. Like, why the fuck would that be any... Nothing good can come out of that. Like, an actual life. Except like a... It's a oh, the clock key. Hey, you hear that, right? You hear like a... Oh, yeah, I, I definitely hear it, man. You hear the music. Okay, yeah. I'm not crazy. There's more dead butterflies. He says, don't butterflies have to do something with, like, Japanese or something like that? I have no idea. Well, not Japanese, but like Japanese that. What Japanese people do with their butterflies? I know, like, a lot of, like, flowers have to do with, like, death or whatever, or, um... I think butterflies have to do with something in Japanese culture. Because remember, this game is, like, Japanese. Goodbye! Oh, do we, we don't even know the clock puzzle. Nah. Well, I don't even know how to cock, man. What? Huh? I don't even remember ever seeing like any numbers or anything. I mean, there were numbers on there, which kind of barely could have seen them. It must be from the person who lived here. Maybe this note is the the, the clue that we need. It says three needles stand at three different heights: the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fat, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three but fifteen. I don't like rails. Oh, but oh, I, I gotta read that again. So it has to do with the three hands, and then not on three, but fifteen. Doesn't mean like things of five. 
Who the fuck is Scott? Some pro probably like. Well, I don't think Scott would be another name for a clock. He's. I don't think so. Oh, sorry. Just have to take her guess. Well, that riddle sucks ass. But you have to say dead man. Not I'm dead. Is that newspaper here? It looks very um, let's try. I feel like it must be like not divisible as a five, but like something. Oh. What's this? I guess uh, not Harry. Oh. Henry, Mildred, and Scott. Alright, well, there we go. Oh. What did these symbolize, though? We have to get at these clock hands so I can take a look at them. You know, we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hold on, let me, uh... Do you actually have to use it like it's for all those games? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the clock key. Something came out of the closet and ate I hope not. Oh, yeah, you can see the numbers. Woo! <laughs> So, not on three, but 15. Do we, do we have to get the clock to match 15? Like, wait. Do we have to have the clock mean 1025? Like, kind of like, because, like, 10 plus 5 is 15? I'm pretty sure that's, like, the dumbest way I can think about that. I guess that these, these two hands... Because I don't think that there's any way for me to move... The middle hand. The middle hand. Because that's what it is. It's one fat, one small, and one thin. So maybe I just have to go around it? Or is it... I have no idea. Hmm. What do these things symbolize? Are they like the directions that they're pointing in? I think maybe those are like the clock handles? Well, Scott... Handles. Scott might be uh, the thin one. Yeah. Because Actually, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, one big, Mildred's the big one, Henry's the small one, and Scott's the thin one. Okay. Maybe? Is it, maybe it has to do with, like, the letters in there, the numbers of, the number of letters oh, wait, in their name? Oh, hold on a second. Let me go and read that riddle again. Oh, the fat one. Hold on. So, from fat, the tall and the thin, from slow to fast. I was confused about slow to fast, but I think they're talking about the rate that uh, the fingers move. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's... Of course, the fastest one is the second one, and then, of course, there's minute and an hour. Then the hour is the slowest. The hour is the fat one. Yeah. And then the tall one is the minute one. And the thin one is the fastest. They move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but 15. But he is resting on three. Exactly. That, that's what it means. It's not, not on three. Oh, so he's on fifteen right now. Oh no, he is on he is on three. No, yeah, he's on fifteen. So it looks like he's on three, but in reality, he's supposed to be on fifteen. He's on the fifteen. Yeah, the fifteen minute hand. Not mm -hmm. a fifteen minute hand. The fifteen. Fucking minute. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. Fifteen second. Fifteen second. All right. Mm. But I still don't know what they're supposed to be in. You know what I mean? No. Oh, yeah. Like, what order they're supposed to be in? I guess they're probably straight griddle, I think, right? Like. What do you got over there, Maestro? Hmm? What do you got over there, Maestro? Anything? Not on three, but 15. What, like 15 Just in points? general, yeah. Well, it seems like those, the, the names on the wall were representative of the hands? Yeah. But do you think they're representative Wait. of the position that they're in? Wait. What? Their names were Henry, Mildred, and Scott, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Henry, 
H, hour. Mildred, M, minute. Scott, S, second. I mm. fucking hate everything about this game. That's so clever. No, that, I, I understand all of that, but, like... It's how the precise what, position like, that on the clock. time is it supposed to be? Wait, at? go back to the um, go back to the drawings on the board. Not drawings on the board. Drawings like uh, claw marks on the board. Okay. Because that's the big thing here. Is what's this? Because I'm trying to think. Oh, that's totally it. Yeah. Okay. Like, Scott's normal where he is. Yeah. Henry's supposed to be that on an actual hour. clock that way. He's supposed to be like in the middle. And then Mildred's going to be up above where the one should be, or around the two, I think. If that's where they're trying to put it. Know what I mean? What are these points? No, the points are the hands. No, I mean, do you see these dots? Oh, I have like no these idea. dots those are, here? Those are probably just there for a I think that that's... It could be increments of, uh... Of, like, um... You know, minutes. Maybe. Like, zero, fifteen, thirty, and forty-five. Possibly, I would say like because yeah, look look at um, badass Henry. <laughs> because you see, you saw how the marks were positioned, right? Uh -huh. Maybe I would say try positioning them that way, if that's possible. So Henry. No, I, I see. I, I think I know what we're supposed to do. But hold, let me just make sure I I know where where fat ass Dutch Newman is supposed to go. <laughs> really, fat ass Dutch Newman. All right, Henry is supposed to be. Okay. Not that way. Really. So Henry's supposed to go on the nine, I think. All right, let's try that. What? <laughs> Duh. There. Jesus. And then Mildred should be on the one. Yeah, I think so. Can we get it? We did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Then try pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. First major riddle solved. Let's go. Body. All right. See, if there's a cutscene here, and then maybe end it here. I'm not sure. All right. Maybe the, maybe there's a safe safe zone. I here? would love to find a place to save. That'd be freaking amazing. That'd be great, right? It's just a closet. There. Um. Oh, there is. Okay, we can save here. Ah, oh, thank God. Well, that was good. Yeah. Um. So that was that was that was that was pretty good actually. I must say. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right. So we're gonna cut it here. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs>